Hey fellow enthusiasts, my name is Tommy Lanham and I am on a mission to break the monotony of the mundane and the mediocre by bringing as much enthusiasm to as many businesses, ministries, marriages, and individual lives as I possibly can because that is the power of enthusiasm. Here we go. I can remember when my daughter was born. I was sitting in the hospital with my mom and my dad. They were prepping my wife for a C-section, and I looked over at them and I asked them this question. I said, you guys obviously know what you're doing as parents. You've raised five kids. Do you have any parenting advice for somebody just starting out? And I'll never forget this. My dad looked me dead in the eye and he says, raise them up according to their personality. That's where I went wrong with you. I didn't know exactly how to take that. But then he continued on and he said this, When I was raising you, I thought I was raising a typical boy. Little did I know that I was raising a son with the heart of a poet. You know, that's always stuck with me. Raise them according to their personality. Not only in parenting, but in other areas of life. Have you ever noticed that some people are different than you? Have you ever noticed that some people are just plain weird? Have you ever noticed that those same people feel the same way about you? <laughs> because we're all different. We're all weird in our own way. And my encouragement to you is embrace your weird. <laughs> Whatever it is that's different about you, embrace that. Don't try to be like somebody else. Because you don't need to be like somebody else. If you think it's tough being you, you should try being somebody else. That's going to be even tougher. Just be you, who God created you to be. Yes, you're different. Yes, other people are different. Yes, other people are weird. Yes, you're weird. But that's okay, because that's the way God created us. Listen, what makes you tick? And what ticks you off is different than what makes me tick and what ticks me off. And it's different for all of us. Each one of us are unique in our own weird way. However, as you study personality styles, you will discover that there are four major personality styles. And I just want to give a quick rundown of these, and I want you to pay attention to them and begin to think, which one of these do I fit into? And after you've done that, think, okay, which one does my spouse fit into? Which, which one does my, my child fit into? And begin to relate this with the people that you interact with on a regular basis. The first personality style that I want to mention is what I call the hearts. The hearts are the security-seeking personality. They're the ones that always want to know there's enough money in the bank. They want to know their relationships are secure. They want to know their employment is secure. They want to know their children are taken care of. They are the security-seeking personality. They make up about 40 to 50 percent of the world's population, and their time focus is in the past. Let's turn back the hands of time. They're the ones that are most tied to the traditions that they have in their families, the traditions that they may have in their church. They are the security-seeking personality. The second one are what I call the bodies. The bodies are the thrill-seeking personalities. They're the ones always wanting to have fun. They're wanting to go on the next adventure or, or, or find out what exciting thing can take place next. They're the ones always wanting to have fun, the thrill-seeking personality. They make up about 30 to 40 percent of the world's population, and their time focus is in the now. <laughs> hurry, 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 I gotta do this right now! They're concerned about the now. They're not so concerned about what might happen in the future. They're not real concerned about what happened in the past. They are living 
for the moment. That ties in with their thrill-seeking personality because they are wanting to have fun right now. They may not plan as much as other personality styles. They may not reflect as much as other personality styles, but they have as much or more fun than any other personality style. They are the thrill-seeking personality. The third personality is what I call the souls. The souls are the identity-seeking personalities. They are the ones that are always trying to find out who they are and working through those layers of themselves to find the core of who they are. Now, the odd thing about the souls is since they are the identity-seeking personality, they're always trying to find out who they are. If they ever find out who they are, they cease being who they are because who they are is trying to find out who they are. Do you follow that? They make up about 10 to 20% of the world's population and their time focus is in the future. Let's focus on the future, shall we? They're the, they're the dreamers that are always dreaming about how great things can be, regardless of how things are right now. They believe that things can be better. They look toward the future, sometimes so much that they are no presently good, but they are looked, looking to the future. They are focused on possibilities and how they can accomplish those possibilities and how they dig deeper into becoming more of who God created them to be because they are the identity seeking personality. The fourth and final personality style is what I call the mind. The minds are knowledge seeking personalities. They are the ones that's always trying to find out more about something, about how things work and about how things operate. They are the ones that as children when they get Christmas presents, instead of playing with the present, they tear it apart to try to figure out how it works. They are the knowledge-seeking personalities. They want to find out how things work. They make up about 5 to 10% of the world's population, and their time focus is in intervals. Now, what does that mean, that they see time in intervals? Well, they see time in blocks. They're the ones that are most likely to lose track of time because they identify time with certain projects or events. And so they don't pay so much attention to the clock like the rest of us do as they do just engulfing themselves in whatever it is they're involved in at the time. As kids, it may be a certain game or a certain toy. As they get older, it may be a certain project. As they get into their work, it may be whatever their work they're involved in at that time. But whatever it is, that's how they measure time. Not so much by the clock as it is by the event or the activity they're doing at that time. And they always, in that process, are trying to figure out deeper meaning as to how things work because they are the knowledge seeking personality. Now my question is to you, you've got the four. You've got the four. You've got the hearts which are the security seeking personality. You've got the bodies which are the thrill seeking personalities. You've got the souls which are the identity seeking personalities. And you've got the minds which are the knowledge seeking personalities. Which one do you think you are? As you hear those, which one do you best identify with? Now here's the thing, all of us have traits and characteristics of all four of those. It's not like you're exclusively one over the other three. However, each one of us has one that we are more dominant in. That personality style is more dominant in our lives. And so, if you could look at those four and try to figure out which one of those do I best fit in? And what about your spouse? Which one of those four best identifies my spouse, my kids, my co-workers, my neighbors, other members of my family? Because as you identify that and as you better understand these personality styles, you can have better relationships, you can communicate better, you can better understand how you and other people are energized and motivated, and you can better understand how to feed your enthusiasm. Hey guys, 
guys, if you enjoy the content that I've been sharing with you, please comment and let me know what resonated with you so that I can find that out. And plus, if there's anything else that you would like for me to, to cover, you can put that in the comment section as well. If you like this, please click on the like. If you'd like to be a part of the fellow enthusiast community, please click the subscribe button below. Ah!